what's up everybody i decided to make a quick video review like how i used to do back in the day because i keep thinking about dr strange and how much damage it really did to like the marvel fandom and the whole universe and i really think i'm over marvel now like i think it's finally safe to say that like it's it's never going to be as good as it was i mean i've been saying that like anybody who knows me knows i saw infinity war and endgame and i was just like this is it this is the mountaintop it's a 10 years to culminate something like this and it's never going to be this good again just like how i felt during game of thrones season four if you look back game of thrones season four was the perfect season every episode was excellent like you had the joffrey trial you had brienne versus the hound at the end you had the hound traveling with Arya. you had the battle of the wall with the white walkers um when Joffrey dies and then the trial because of that and then Tyrion and then Tyrion kills Tywin like that was a mountaintop Game of Thrones was never that good and I knew watching it I was like this is the peak oh and Oberyn 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 versus the mountain all that happened in the same season so that's what Infinity War was and now like I'm thinking about it and yo Marvel has been just been letting us down again and again it's sad to say I mean you couldn't keep a good thing going for that long but it's kind of feeling like how DC felt back in the day when, like, you could feel studio interference. Like, Doctor Strange was, first of all, it was tonally inconsistent, right? So, like, it felt choppy because, like, it felt like Sam Raimi is trying to do a horror scene. And I'm like, you got Black Widow. I keep saying Black Widow. You got Scarlet Witch, like, doing a zombie walk and it's all crazy and creepy. And then two lines later, you got America Chavez saying some, like, really cheesy lines. Like, there's some really bad dialogue, like... And apparently there was some reshoots that not even Raimi knew about. So it feels like there was some studio interference. Like they didn't want to commit to it being dark. But anyway, let me just get to the point. First of all, the inconsistencies are like um, Wong and Doctor Strange are talking about Spider-Man. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I only saw Spider-Man 3 um, the one time. But everybody is supposed to forget who he is, even Doctor Strange. And at the very least, not Wong, right? So Wong and they're just talking about Spider-Man. I'm like, okay, that's an inconsistency. A lot of the multiverse rules, like between the rules in Loki and now the rules in this just don't add up. And it's it's so like confusing, like unnecessarily. And that's the problem with Marvel Comics. That's like past the 90s, why Marvel Comics stopped being like interesting in a way because they kept trying to keep the same continuity going and they kept writing themselves into a corner. So it's like, this guy's origin gets changed and rewritten and rewritten and like it's all canon and like it's hard to follow like that's one thing i like about dc is that like they did a lot of reboots in a way and like there's self-contained batman stories that don't like have a continuity like that has to be truthful to the path whatever so anyway tangent <clears throat> so basically um yeah a lot of the rules don't make sense and then wandavision like it was a good self-contained show but it was basically wandavision part two you know like and then the the character turn was just like Daenerys in, in Game of Thrones, remember? Like, it just came out of nowhere. Like, there was supposed to be a long build-up, but it was like a snap. And then the next episode, she's just burning cities. Like, how? And then she just dies right away. It's exactly what happened to Wanda. I'm just like, come on, man. Like, she's, a, she's like a Thanos-tier villain. Like, that was an Avengers-level threat. And for her to just, like, drop the building on herself, I'm just like, come on. That was such a letdown. And... I don't know if she's dead. If she's dead, that's a major waste. And if not, then the whole movie was a waste of time. And it was ultimately inconsequential to the rest of the Marvel Universe. Because really what happened at the end is like he got a third eye and that's it. And then Charlize Theron shows up, shows up as some character I don't even know. Because now we're getting into like the deep, deep cut Marvel. Like the modern stuff, I don't even know. Like I'm a 90s kid. We all know like Marvel peaked in the 90s. So did X-Men. Like that's, that's kind of a fact. So they're pretty much past that plot material. So now they're charting into their territory like past Thanos that like... You know, we got to bring back Magneto because unless they're doing Galactus, I don't know what they're about to do. Anyway, so another thing. So much wasted potential, right? So the multiverse, you introduce, excuse me, you introduce Mr. Fantastic and Xavier. And you think we're going to get all these like multiverse characters. Like you could have brought in like a multiverse Stark or something like that, like a quick cameo. Like apparently there were rumors that there were more cameos that they took out of the movie. But that was a big waste. You introduce Xavier and Reed Richards and then kill them off instantly. And then it's just like, all right, whatever. So it didn't really amount to nothing because it's just another universe. And then um, the Darkhold, there was a waste of a story because any 90s Marvel fan like Deep Cut will know that the Darkhold had a big plot where there was like a, a crossover with like Blade and Morbius. 
the Midnight Suns, um, Johnny Blaze, because he was a different Ghost Rider at the time. Um, I think even, yeah, Venom got involved at some point. Punisher. So, like, all these people that are supposed to come in Marvel. So, oh, Blade. Yeah, like, Blade and all of them. So, all these people that are supposed to be appearing soon in the Marvel Universe are, like, perfect to tie into the Darkhold. So, if the Darkhold is gone, like, that's a big waste also. I thought they were going to bring in Blade somehow. Anyway, I'm right, I think so. It was just a letdown, like, and then the post credit scene was whatever, you know, just more adventures of Doctor Strange falling around some chick, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. There's not much to look forward to. I mean, I'm hoping they do X-Men properly when they, when they bring it out, but Moon Knight was probably the one good thing that Marvel's done in a while because even the show was like, Loki was, it was pretty good, but like, he got sidelined in his own show in a way. And um, I don't know, like, it, it was good, but it wasn't quite what I expected. And then WandaVision was good. I'll, I'll admit that. WandaVision was actually really good. Uh, Falcon was a little bit disappointing. You know, it kind of dragged at times. And then Hawkeye was a big disappointment. And um, they wasted Fisk. Like, don't even get me started on that. I don't know who that guy was. That wasn't Fisk. For him to just, like, show up out of nowhere and just, like, attack this girl in broad daylight. I try to murder this guy first in the middle of the street. In a busy night, like, Fisk wouldn't do that. Like, this guy is a mastermind who works behind the shadows. They turn him into just, like, a brute thug. And then he gets beat by this girl. Like, come on, man. Anyway, so that was a letdown. They just brought him in just to screw him up. So, Daredevil, we'll see what they do. Anyway, at this point, I'm right, I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really that excited about Marvel anymore. I think, I think I'm just finally, finally learning to accept that I don't really know what they're doing. I know, I'm sure the pandemic messed up a lot of things. Uh, I'm hoping Blade's good. But it's not going to be like Wesley Snipes level on martial arts. Like Mahershala is older. He's not a martial artist. Like he's a legit actor, but he's not going to be able to fight like how Snipes did. So they're going to have to figure out a different way to approach that. Ghost Rider, I'm waiting for maybe. But really, it's X Men. All my hopes are in X Men. Um, so yeah, that's it. So this is fun. I'm just venting right now. This is all off the dome. Anyway, later, y'all. Peace.